Story now about some special dogs raised here in South Texas that are apparently having a positive impact far away from here in South Africa. We first brought you the story back in April about a rancher in Refurio, Joe Brayman, who agreed to use his specially bred dogs in the effort to combat rhino poaching in South Africa. Tonight, our Taylor Adonis has an update on the effort to save that country's endangered rhino population. Refurio rancher Joe Brayman says in nine days there were no poacher tracks in Kruger National Park. He says that's unheard of and that's all because of these dogs. Well, it was kind of foggy going into it because the dogs had never seen Impala. They'd never seen wildebeest, never seen elephant, never seen lion. Once Joe Brayman's dogs hit the South African dust, no move. it's over. Come on, we got it. This, this is the answer. They've proved their months of training has finally paid off. We arrested 27 poachers and seized 10 guns in 15 deployments. All to help save the precious rhino population. At this rate, my grandchildren will never know what one looks like other than a book. Brayman says less than 5,000 black rhino and just over 20,000 white rhinos exist today. For the last several years, um, the rhino horn is $60,000 Per, per kilo. Brayman says that's almost twice as much in street value as cocaine. I mean, you're looking at 20 years right off the bat, if not worse. So the guys are running like crazy. Running, but not as fast as Brayman's dogs. If I can utilize my, my God-given talent to, of training dogs to help save a species, I'm going to do it. He also trains dogs to hunt criminals and help find dementia and Alzheimer's patients. Our goal is to bring them back safe and for them to be able to buy a dog biscuit and give it to these dogs one day and their family to say thank you for bringing my loved one back. Unfortunately, two of his non-aggressive dogs, Nell and Grunt, were killed while tracking illegal immigrants over the weekend. Back in April, Brayman was getting ready to send 20 dogs to the South African Wildlife College when he showed me exactly what they can do. That's when I realized when I got home, I was like, my God, I mean, the dogs are that good. A Texas-born solution. Oh helping conservation overseas. Raymond's efforts to end rhino poaching in South Africa is far from over. He plans on increasing his force from 400 to 500 dogs. In Refurio, Taylor Alanis, 3 News.